What is going guys? Being a second review here and today I'm gonna show you on how to fix the Windows speaker problem. So as for me I have this problem is that uh, on my which is my computer speaker which is the Razer Leviden. So it works as, as normal but uh, after I idle it for a while about like 10 seconds about not touching anything and the speakers goes off and I would like to need to like uh, mute the volume and then you need to boost up the volume and it only works like that as for you guys if you guys also have this problem you guys can follow this and this will fix the problem so first of all what you're gonna do is type in device manager click on it and what you're gonna do is gonna hit to the sound video game which is this one and click on the first one so as for me I'm the first one it depends on you guys actually so which is the uh, this is my headphone now so on my Leviden, Razer Leviden is a high definition audio device so uh, previously I'm not using this device I'm using it uh, in the NVIDIA so I switched to high definition audio device which solved the problem so as for that you just gonna hit on the whatever name that you guys are having so let's say you are plugging your speaker which is the high definition audio device so you're gonna find this high definition audio device or before that which is the web, which I just mentioned just now which is the NVIDIA high definition audio which is supposed to be here so I changed it so it depends on you guys and so most importantly just go and see which of the device you guys have the problem and switch back right to here and choose that one right click on it and click on update driver and next you are you're not gonna go on this you're gonna go browse my computer and gonna you can click on this and in here which is the most important step you guys gonna choose what you wanna use the model so for example previously which is I just mentioned just now it's the Nvidia high definition audio which is giving me trouble so I just click on high definition audio device and click next then it will be automatically installed the device and you, it will ask you to reboot your computer once again and after you reboot the computer the problem will be gone automatically so that's it it's very simple and that's it so it's a very simple process so you guys don't need to format your computer or anything so this might be a bug might be a glitch I don't know so just the solution anyway hit thumbs up if, you get, if this video helps you guys comment down below if you guys have any question and subscribe for more and happy 4000 subscriber guys see you guys in the next video